It's Alison here again. We're just going to, I'm going to show you how to finish off doing the edges, the sewing in of your yarn as well. So if you remember how I got you to go up and through and then back down. So I've come through and now if you have a look at it, there's a little gap there. All I'm going to do is just very gently pull and that will bring that stitch, if you watch, see that's it there, but don't do it too tight because you want it to look the same as the others. All right, and now what we're going to do here, I'll just bring those out of the way. So we're on the side, on the wrong side, and what we're going to do, if you can see, there's the frown, what we call a frown, and there's a smile. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up on the frown and we're going to go on an angle to the smile. All right, so we're going to come up on an angle like that and just very gently pull it through. And then we're going to follow that frown and go down into that smile and then the frown on this side. Okay, we're right on the edge here. So what I want to do is make sure, again, I'm going on the slight angle and we're going to bring it up there. Now I just want to come back the other way. So I'm going to go up once more on the angle. And now this time I'm gonna go over that frown and down the smile into the next frown. And then we're going to go up and then across to that smile on that side. And then we're going to do one more, okay? Cross that frown. Oh, get the tip away. Across that frown and into that smile and then into the one below. All right, so if you, if you pull it like that, you can see that move, all you've got to do is just very gently do that and then very gently do that one. And there you can't see where I've gone, okay? And on this side, it's not visible either. All right, so that's the way that I sew my ends in. Now to finish it off, if you're looking at this one, this one here has just been cut straight across. All right, when I'm doing sewing in like this, I like to just very gently pull it and slice it on an angle, just like that. And then just dampen your finger and then just very gently rub it not too much just a little and then you can't see it either side and that will then blend in to the other yarn and just be it won't come undone all right so that's how you weave in your ends on there um so and then you just do the same if you want to do the one up the side or on an edging and you don't need it anymore, you don't need the yarn, the other way that you can do it is actually follow that stitch along there. All right. Now to do that, we're going to come from underneath through the middle there like that. Okay and come up again, make sure it's attached. And then we're going to follow that stitch there. So all we're gonna do is come over and through. Over, so coming over and through. So you've come out of that one 
So there, you're going to follow that line there, so down into there, and come through that stitch. Again, if you, so you're going to cross there and through. Again, you can also, if you didn't want it bulky, you can trim the yarn back to two strands and do exactly the same thing. So we're going to follow that line and through. Follow and come up the next one. All right, so there you go. And that's another way that you can thread your yarn up and it's not going to be seen.